What's going on guys? Welcome to Lil's Pressure Washing. My name is Barry. Thank you for landing on my channel. If it's your first time you've landed on this channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Make sure you have the notification bell, tap to all and you're subscribed. And if you don't mind, give me a little like, tap it on the way in and out. It really helps the algorithm. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you guys. So today, let me show you what this we're doing. This is the fourth property of four that we've done for this package. That's gonna be doing this house, that shop, that shop. We've just done property protection. We got all the keyholes taped over on the shops in the house. We're gonna be doing the concrete as well. We're gonna be doing it here and at the entrance down there to the property. We're gonna be doing this house, I mean this shop wash and that roof wash. We're gonna be washing this roof. This is the only one that needs it. We're gonna do both sides in that section over there. And also the porch. As you can see, we've already got the protection. The, everything's taped off. I'll show you what it looks like and we'll get started, guys. So we're gonna be doing this roof, getting the algae off of it make it look nice and clean. We've got the water hooked up. We're gonna be doing this porch as well. We've already did a walk around of the property and we have everything taped off. So take the time when you get here to put your water in the tank right away and go ahead and go around and make sure everything, how you doing? Get it, make sure everything's taped off like this right here. We don't wanna unplug anything, make sure everything's uh, taped off like the keyholes and uh, any security cameras and electronics so you don't want to damage anything and then while the tank's filling up we're gonna wash and rinse we're gonna start with the roof and then we're gonna work our way down obviously and uh, get it looking nice and beautiful we're gonna be turning on the sh to about between halfway about about a quarter 25 percent there we're gonna open our soap up um, we'll go ahead and open that all the way this is an extra valve for degreasers we don't use, and this is water. So when I'm not using the bleach, these two are water to flush it out. These are both wide open, and this is my banjo valve in the back. If I open it, bleach comes in. If I close it, it's back to water, and I have like 25, 30 foot of hose bypass in there. This is an old build, guys. It's going to be revamped up, but it works great. So we'll open the bleach to 25%. We'll open the soap all the way, water all the way. And once again, the bleach is turned off. We're running both valves open so it gets maximum flow. And uh, yeah, like I said, this is all budget build. Works great, so we're gonna turn it on, turn our fuel on, our choke open, and uh, we're gonna make sure we always have, always have our trigger pulled. You never wanna start it or stop it without this trigger pull. You wanna try to keep the pressure spikes down. That's what damages it. Also, we think in the industry that the manifolds have an effect on these as well. So. Having the trigger pulled and staying and laying off the gun over too long can cause damage and manifolds over time. But um, yeah, that'd be a good video to do a d deep dive in and scientifically see what causes the leaks and stuff in these pumps because that's one of the main things people have. But yeah, and there's also a lot of common leaks around the gearbox. But uh, that's for another video. Let's get started, guys. We're going to be doing this section up here as well. The concrete out to the road. We got it halfway open on the SH. I smell it coming out nice hot sauce, man. We're gonna be, we're gonna lay this down the very beginning so it's working and then we go work on the house. So we always do the flat work like this first. I mean, we'll lay it down and pre-treat it and let it set. So when we come back, it's not as much to clean up. The chemicals have done the job for us. We'll coat it really nice and even. And get all that looking good. And we'll also hit the fence while we're here. Even though it's not part of where we always throw something free in or a few things free in to go above and beyond. Give that, provide that excellent customer experience. Also, we're going to pre-treat this area, this entire area. So that when we're washing the house, this is actually cleaning itself up over here. Mostly algae. So, it's going to get looking nice and clean. So we do this and then we start on the house wash, or the roof wash and the house wash. All right, real quick, before we start on the house wash, we're gonna switch out of our shoes. Uh, we don't wanna get any bleach on our feet, but you can see the algae's already working. So the reason I tell people to start with this first, cause look, I'm doing this, and then when I go to do the house wash and come back to here, both areas will be pretty much clean. We're gonna run a surface cleaner on them cause we wanna make them look exceptionally well. We probably wouldn't even need it, but we always go above and beyond. So we're gonna surface clean it and then rinse and if we need to, post-treat. Most of the time, we just do 1% post-treat automatically. Uh, we'll just see how bright it is. We want concrete as bright as possible. So, all right, we're going to get out of these shoes, and we're going to get started, guys. Fresh SH we got yesterday, so this should be more than enough to do this. And the next job we have 
and possibly another one. So I think we're going to knock three out today with this and then we'll refill it. So yeah, I recommend if you can get it every day to not store it because it stays good for two or three months. You want to keep it out of the sun, of course, but if you can get it from a source, I would just get it like I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start going and, and getting filled up directly from the source. Just a little recommendation there. But if you don't, you have to get it by the pallet and, you know, get obviously four drums at a time. But all right, guys, let's get started. I want to thank you all for landing on this video. If it's your first time, make sure you subscribe and please hit that like button. It really helps us out. We're a 100% organic, no bot channel over here. We truly appreciate your support. And if you want to learn more that you won't see anywhere else and want to join our membership, click the link in the description. It's a Patreon. We help each other get six-figure contracts commercially and land them and knock them out the park, man. So yeah, we'd love to have you over there. Just click the link and join the team and let's win together. So in this video right here, we're going to be walking you through how we do the roof wash, the house wash, concrete wash on a multi-location property like this. So first off, get you some snacks, popcorn, drinks, set back, buckle your seat belts, and let's take off, all right? So this right here is a multi-project project, right? So we had four locations, and this is the fourth of the four. This one has a house, two shops, two concrete areas, and a porch. So what we're doing is we're going to be hitting it with a probably three and a five, put four, 3.5 to 4% mix on the roof. I think we're at about a four. And we're going to let that set. We have a clean gone in it, which means it adds and boosts the suds and it helps the bleach stick to the shingles and do their magic. All right. This roof was very nasty. All right. So we hit it with that and it kills the algae. Let it set. So what we did was we wet all the plants at first and then we laid the roof mix on top of it and let it set now. And then we start slowly working our way down the house, right? We dialed the SH back just a tad bit to like a 2% because you don't need a roof mix on this vinyl right here. So right now we're at about a 2.5% mix on the house mix right here. The roof was a four and we're doing really carefully around the windows. When we hit the windows, we open up the trigger so it's a fan pattern. You don't want to blast anything. You don't want to break any glass. You want to make sure you're doing an amazing job. We also throw in a lot of things like we're throwing in like some extra little concrete areas we'll show possibly on here. And we throw in other stuff like we're hitting underneath the porch. We, when we do a property, we do the entire thing. If, like I said, we're not petty. We don't skip things. We actually add things in. So when you hire us, you're not only going to get what you ask for, but you're going to get more. We treat every property like it's our property, our moms, our dads, our grandparents. We treat it with love. People over profits always. So back here, what we're doing is we're washing underneath the porch. We've already done our plant protection and we're hitting the concrete and underneath them. So not only did we do the top of the beams, we do underneath the bottom of the beams too, because even though nobody's going to see it, but the homeowner, we want to make sure that it looks good when the homeowner walks underneath there. Right? So always hit the spots. Even if you don't think nobody's going to see them. Okay. Do your best all the time man. do your best all the time. So back to the roof wash, we're going to be hitting it again. So we applied one coat, right? And the first coat did a really good job. But what we did is we seen some spots up tight and see where the side is right here, where that ridge line is. I was just at, there was a lot of algae underneath there. So we had to apply a second coat over there. What we're doing now is we're hitting the wood on the porch and we're washing that as well. Now we're stepping back here to get a better look at the top of the roof. Now that's what I love about these P40s and AR45s and other gas soft wash systems. When you're using these, you have mega reach. You may have to get on a ladder, but very seldom do you have to get on a roof. We do not get on the roofs. We always go to the top of the ladder. We make sure the ladder is secured and we'll do another video on that. Over here at the shop, we're applying a roof mix as well. Now, let me tell you something. They didn't pay to have these roofs done. We're doing these roofs absolutely for free. They only wanted us to do the shops and the house. So we did the house and the roof on the house and we threw in two roof washes for free. And we also threw in a couple concrete sections. Right here, I believe is the north side. So it's like the northwest side. So a lot of algae is always on there. So we're hitting it really well. And as we pan around, we're going to be doing all sides. It's not really bad, but you want to do it. So when the property owner comes home and they see it, 
they'll see things that they didn't even pay for. And like, there's nothing better than knowing somebody came to your property, exceeded your expectations, because then you're going to tell everyone about them. This particular property owner has hired us to do all of their properties. They own a construction company. They own multiple rental properties, and we do all of them for them. They even offered us to come to a birthday party for their grandma and asked if we can do other family members' houses. So it's all about building those relationships. I preach boots on the ground. You can't beat the boots on the ground. We were originally hired because another pressure washing company, I won't mention, came out and butchered an oxidation on another house, which we washed. There's another video on that. They came out and pressure washed the siding and they butchered. It looked like Zorro had been there with his sword. So they hired us. They asked them to fix it first. They just walked off the job and told them to keep the money. They're not coming back. I couldn't imagine being like that. But thanks to that nonsense, they hired us. And when they hired us, we're going back yearly now. So we have all these properties to do yearly, four properties, Really good ticket, really good people, awesome relationship, okay? It's all about building those relationships. So once we've done this, we've washed all the shots, we start hitting the concrete. We always do the concrete last. Now, we've already pre-treated this concrete. Right when we hit here, when we got to the property, we hit here with the pre-treatment and we let it set. And then we start moving on to doing the roofs and doing the shops and doing the house and the porch. And when we come back, We'll hit it with another pre-treatment. We do a couple pre-treatments and then when it's time to actually put the surface cleaner on it, all the work's almost done. You work smarter, not harder. And with the proper chemicals and the proper know-how, you'll be able to do an amazing job. So we're actually still letting this concrete treat. We're rinsing now all of the buildings and the shops. And once all that's done, we'll come back and we'll do the concrete. Like I said, boots on the ground is the best marketing in my opinion. So with that being said, we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna hit the front of this shop. We've already lit the chemical set and we're gonna rinse it off. Always when you're washing windows or you do the fan pattern, like I said, you always wanna hit the bottom side and the corners of the door jams and you'll hit the bottom of the windows. What you're trying to do is push that dirt out through the bottom of the screen without causing any damage and not ripping the screen. So we're rinsing everything, everything's come off really well. Back to the house over here, the front of the house, you can see the roof looks amazing. And now we're just rinsing it. We're rinsing all the soap. A lot of people don't rinse the roofs. It takes longer, but in my opinion, I would like, if I was to hire a cleaning service, I would like them to rinse it, not the rain to rinse it off. There's nothing against doing it that way. We just personally don't do it that way. So there's two different ways to do it. You can wash the roof and just hit it with the soap and then let it come off naturally, or you can rinse it. So we rinse it that way when once we rinse it, if there's any spots, we can hit it again without having to make an extra trip back to the customer's house and have them upset because we missed a spot. I just say go patiently, go smoothly, small steps like eating an elephant one bite at a time. So with this roof, it's come completely clean. It's looking amazing that the house is clean. The doors are clean. The windows are clean. Now we're just rinsing it off. And you can just see it looks a million times better than when we started. Guys, I can't preach boots on the ground harder than I'm already preaching it. We get a lot of these referrals from other customers and yard signs is our main way of getting jobs. We've never placed a single paid ad on Google or Facebook. We always just use referrals and boots on the ground. I'm going to be making some videos upcoming. They're going to be more educational talking about how we specifically land the jobs, how we price the jobs, and things like that that you won't normally find anywhere else. Like I said, if you want to learn more, click the link in the description. You'll see our Patreon and join a bunch of us over there. We help each other out. We share knowledge. We help each other with quotes. We help each other just get jobs. A lot of people ask me, how do you get these jobs? And then I help people quote them. How do you quote them? You know, we've helped multiple people do hundreds of locations and we really take pride in hearing success stories. You know, I love it when I see people around me win because there's so much work for us out here. If you're working in the neighborhood, you have a lot of other competitors, don't treat them as a competitor, embrace them and you can get more done together. There's more houses out here than we could possibly clean on our own. If all us pressure washers were together in one big city like Miami or Memphis or Nashville or Chicago, 
We couldn't even handle the amount of work. We still couldn't handle it. So if you have three or four guys in your area and you have 100,000 people in your area or 50,000 or even 10,000, 10,000 people live in your area and you got three pressure washers. You couldn't do a third of those houses in a year. Just think about that. So I encourage people to work together. Don't steal each other's signs. Don't try to undercut and go behind people's back, but work together. If you have a surface cleaner and, you're, and another company needs it to borrow it, let them borrow. Hey, get chemicals, let them borrow it back. Everybody scratch each other's backs, look out for each other. Teamwork, man. Teamwork makes the dream work. And people over profits, we mean that, man. We put people over profits. And let me tell you, when you keep God first and you keep things balanced, things naturally work out. We are so happy to be in the community on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and able to help others. We believe that if you're putting your best foot forward and helping as many people as you can, it's naturally going to come back to you. It's the laws of the universe, you know. You get back what you put out, you know. So always keep good positivity and try to help as many people. If somebody don't know, we're, we were all new at once. Remember, we all were new at once. And the questions we had... Other people knew. Just remember, if you ever asked a question and got like belittled, especially on a Facebook or something, how it made you feel, why would you want to make somebody else feel that way? So I encourage people to lead with your best self. When you wake up in the morning, when you put your work boots on and you conquer the day, say a prayer and go out, keep God first. Remember, try to be a better person than you were the day before, all right? When we go away one day, we're all going to die. Our legacy is what's going to be behind us. It's not going to be how much money we made, how many trucks we had, but the lasting impression you made on somebody. So you want to live a long, fruitful life, have lots of children, have a legacy, and have a name, build your name. Reputation and name is everything. You only get one. So back to the house wash. Like I said, we're using a bleach and surfactant. About, we, we used about probably, I would say 25 gallons, 25 gallons total on this whole project. That's with three roofs, that's with three buildings, and that's with all the concrete sections. So if you dial it in just right and you make sure you have no leaks in your hoses, make sure everything's metered correctly, your metering valve system's working correctly. And speaking of metering valves, if you're batch mix and you haven't stepped it up and haven't been able to for, so, for whatever reason, when you are able, when the time comes, I suggest you drop that money and get a metering system. It will make your life a million times better. And then I would add to that when you're able to get a remote system. We don't have a remote system on this specific one right here, but we have other trailer units. But we're going forward, we're always going to go with electric hose reels and electric metering valves. Everything. Everything electric, everything electric, everything about time. When you start working in bigger projects and start growing, you'll realize time is super valuable, you know? So anytime you can cut out a few minutes here, a few minutes there, you actually increase your profit margin, you know? So that's what I always preach. Always be effective. But you don't want to be so fast to where you're like, oh, I'm going so fast, you know, I'm getting all these done. But you want to be quality because you don't want those callbacks as well. It's all about being the best, you know, quality over quantity any day of the week, but you also want to master time, you know, you never truly master it. You want to become better and effective at being punctual, perseverance, punctuality, and prosperity, always keeping a good name. I want to also add to you guys watching this video that the video is going forward. We have several we're going to still release of washes we've done, but going forward, most I'd say 90% of the videos are going to be towards teaching something that you may not have known. We're going to be going over how to walk into a store, what to say, who to ask for, what to listen for, what kind of tips you want to be looking out for so that you can not only just get your foot in the door and land the job, but land multiple, have them refer you to other locations. You want to get to a point to where you're not just having to search for work but you get to actually pick what jobs you would like to do and which ones you'd like to sub out. And then you get to a point where you've built your business up so high, you have a book of like, say, you know, your, you gotta know your numbers. If you don't know your numbers, you don't have a business. So for instance, or if you're doing 500,000 or a million or 1.3 or 1.5 or 
1.8 or 2 or 2.5, whatever you're doing a year and you have that revenue, your business, you can put a value on your business. And if you have an exit strategy where you decide to sell it one day, some people don't, some people do, whatever your end game is, you will be able to market it and sell it for that price and be able to back it up. Stay tuned for a lot of amazing videos of how we can help you take your business to the next level. Let's go. Guys, we're finished with this job. It looks amazing. I'm gonna pen around and show you the final results. Right, so As you can see, it looks a million times better. We got this entire house done and the porch and the roof. We got this one done. We got the concrete done. We got this one done. We actually threw in the roof on this one. No extra charge, both sides. That's what we do, man. People over profits, guys. We don't just talk about it. We be about it, man. All the time we are about it. So guys, that's what we do, man. Got to be the best. Yeah, guys, today. if you have not hit the like button on now, I would truly appreciate you on your way out. Tapping the like button, it's free. It shows YouTube that you like these videos and you wanna see more of them and it really helps the algorithm. We're 100% organic. We're not botted, we don't buy subs, we don't buy views, we don't buy likes, we're all organic. We truly love our people and we put people over profit. So we appreciate each one of you guys, your amazing subscribers and we truly appreciate you guys. We hope you like this video and you've enjoyed it. Like I said, stay tuned for all the cool, amazing content. God bless you and your family, people over profits. Let's go.